Hey there my natural hair queens and kings. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Shay and I go by Bohemian Curl Girl. So you already know that I'm still playing catch up so I know this video is a bit late but I am going to be giving you my top, when I say my top, my favorite products of 2018. Not only natural hair products, I'm also going to give you a little bit of skincare products that I like in 2018. So if you're interested in trying to figure out which products are the best to help you slay being a natural queen or king, stay tuned until the end. So first, every wash day, I like to start with a scalp massage, just kind of opening up my pores to prep my hair to be cleaned of the products that I used the week before. So every wash day, I start with an oil. The oil that topped the list in 2018 is this Jamaican mango, lemon, black castor oil, and peppermint oil. The reason I like this oil is because it's a combo oil. So, you know, black castor oil is good for hair growth, and then peppermint is just good to open up your pores. So, I love that I don't have to use two separate oils, it's one, and it just makes my hair feel so amazing, makes my hair feel ready for a wash day. So if you're looking for oil to purchase, I'll definitely recommend this. And I believe it was about maybe $7 from Target. So it's not that much. And as you can see, this bottle is pretty big. It is four fluid ounces. So it'll take you a long way because you only need maybe five or six drops for each wash day. So then as I finish opening up my pores by massaging my scalp with an oil, I go in with a rinse. So I would use some product that is said to help when you have any product build up. The one that I must have and the one that's actually almost done and I need to get another one is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Apple Cider Vinegar Clarifying Rinse. As you can see, I am basically out. And after I massage my scalp, I go in with this. And I love this because it is an extra step that makes sure that I am rinsing out any product buildup that I may have gotten from the products that I use. I think they sell a big bottle that's maybe eight fluid ounces. I think it's about five or six dollars. So I mean, a lot goes a long way. And as you can see, this little sample has gone a long way and I'm kind of milking it until I actually need to go to the store and buy another one. So next, I shampoo every week. I know some people don't shampoo, some people co-wash, but I do shampoo every week. And whenever I shampoo, I shampoo with a sulfate-free shampoo. So my favorite shampoo of 2018 is actually, drum roll please, the My Elves Pomegranate Honey moisturizing and detangling shampoo what i love about this shampoo is it first of all it lathers so that means that it's cleaning my hair it's sulfate free and i love the scent like this just has my hair smelling so good i love the scent and i actually like that it doesn't feel like it's stripping my hair of all my natural oils after i take out the shampoo it leaves my hair clean but it also leaves my hair soft at the same time which you don't usually find with a shampoo Usually after you shampoo your hair, it's brittle, it's harsh from just stripping everything. But this actually takes out all the products as well as leaving moisture in your hair. I love the Myels line. So my favorite conditioner is also Myels. It is the pomegranate and honey line as well. And it's the moisturizing and detangling conditioner. I use this maybe four times since I've gotten it. And I've only, I only think I had it for about a month. And... Um, this conditioner is just amazing it's amazing for detangling it's also amazing for just conditioning and adding softness to your hair as well as being used as a deep conditioner because you could leave this in for 10 to 15 minutes with or without heat just to add extra softness to your hair but honestly i've used it as a conditioner and i've left it on for 10 to 15 minutes even though i deep condition after it and my hair was so soft after i used it and this one actually made it as one of my favorite detanglers of 2018 as well, along with the O-Y-I-N, I believe is how it's pronounced, O-Glide detangling spray. I don't have any of it because I try not to purchase any products outside of Curlbox, but actually when I first got this the detangler in the Curlbox, I bought it like maybe two or three times after that and I bought like two or three with each purchase that I did. This detangler was 
like the favorite it is my favorite detangler i'm just trying to not spend all my coins outside of curl box but this is definitely a great detangler the only downside of this detangler is i had to put it in a spray bottle that i got from the dollar tree because the spray that it came in doesn't give you enough product so i put it in that and i sprayed it on my hair and when i say the tangles just like melt away they melt away so if you're looking for a detangler definitely try that so you know my love for curls is real when i first went natural curls was one of the first brands that i tried and they've never let me down because they're all of their products are usually sulfate paraben and silicone free which is amazing my favorite deep conditioner is from the curls line it's actually from the cashmere and caviar collection and it is their hair mask did a video on this where i talked about how this literally smells like perfume and when i go out i don't have to worry about putting on any perfume because this does the trick this adds shine moisture slip everything that you need in a good deep conditioner that's what this does and now let's get to stylers mm, mm, mm. Yes, if you know me or if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love stylus. That's my favorite part of wash day because I get to see what products work best, which products give me the results that I'm looking for. So, this one was a hard one. I could not just choose one styler. I actually choose three stylers. I know, I know. It's supposed to be my favorite, but all of these are just amazing in their own way. First one is the Diva Curl Super Stretch Coconut Curl Elongator. The reason I love this product is this product works really good by itself. It helps to give your curls a stretched out look. It also gives you shine and hold all at the same time. So you you can use this product solo and it works perfectly fine for a washing girl that you want to last for a week and i just loved how my curls look the next product is cantu i know people give cantu so much slack and before trying this product i used to give them slack too i used to be like cantu is just a cheap natural hair brand that does nothing for your hair but this is the truth coconut curling cream from cantu this thing right here is the real truth when i say the shine and the definition that i got from this product i was really shook super cheap if you're just starting out really good this is one product that did not disappoint and super super over delivered on what i expected it to do the last silent product that is my favorite is the cream of nature argan oil from morocco curl activating cream this Styler. I was super shocked like this shot styler had my curls fleeky the fine soft everything for the entire week wash day came around and I was like do I really 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 need to wash my hair I just had a loss for words what to say about that styler but it's just it's really good just trust me try it out I don't do much twist outs but I did one three strand twist last year using just one product yes you heard me right one product i use the cream of nature moisture whipped twisting cream and look at this look at it if you're really big on twist outs you need to get this this right here had my twist out looking like a washing go i was like wow it was shiny it helped my twist out to last it gave me enough moisture so my head didn't look dry with the twist out so this one is definitely really good and i never tried it for a wash and go but i imagine that it'd be just as good with a wash and go if it's good for a twist out another one from curls that made the cut from the cashman caviar collection is their hair serum this bad boy is super lightweight it gives you enough slip so that you can separate your curls without that frizz but i just like that it isn't heavy so i could use this as a styler if i wanted to like use it for for shine and i don't feel like it will weigh down my hair we all know that no wash and go is completed without some slayed edges so my all-time favorite edge control 2018 is from made by beautiful the inspired line the reason i like it is because it pulls my hair so i could do my edges the night before and wake up and my edges are still slain it has a heavy enough hole that my edges could last for a long time honestly that's like the only edge control i use if i want 
to slay my edges because I know that it's heavy enough to hold them, but it's light enough that if I want to comb them out, I can comb them out. My favorite gel is the Eco Styler Black Castor Oil and Flaxseed Oil. I use this whenever I want to put my hair in one in a pineapple, if I want to slick my hair down. But recently, I actually realized that this is really, really good in washing goes. So what had happened was I had tried a lime to tell while my hair was wet that it was just going to be a disaster of a wash and go. So something was like, you know what, use your Eco Styler Gel, put it on your hair, see what it does. So I actually put that on my hair and my hair was flaky. My hair was defined, I didn't have frizz, it was shiny. That Eco Styler Gel came to the rescue so I'm actually going to use it more often with my wash and goes now that I know better because I didn't know, but I know now. So I am going to use that for wash and go. So that's my favorite gel, mostly because I don't like a heavy hold. It's heavy enough that it slicks on my hair, but not heavy enough that I'll have that crunch or it'll be hard when I try to like do something else after I've put it on my hair. So that's why I like that gel. And I've actually been using that particular gel for maybe two years, I want to say. And I always buy the big boy. It's just worth it to get the big one. And I think the big one is like maybe five or six dollars. And it lasts me like a long time. Let me know what your favorite eco style gel is. Because I know everybody like different eco stylers for different reasons. But let me know in the comments what your favorite eco style is. So I've been on a thing where I've try I'm trying DIY masks for my deep conditioning and I've been trying a number of different mixtures to see which ones work the best and my favorite one from 2018 would have to be the honey olive oil and avocado mix that I use that one was amazing in terms of giving me shine it detangled my hair without me using anything like it had amazing slip I think it was probably the olive oil my hair was super moist after I finished so that is on my list of top DIY mask. Try it if you're just starting out or even if you're not starting out and you want to kind of step up your routine and get into deep conditioning but you don't want to buy any products. These are usually stuff that you have in your house. Lastly, in terms of hair, I am trying to grow my hair as long as I can. My two favorite uh, hair growth pills from 2018 is from Mean Choice, then Mean Metabolism, and then the Myel's gummies. I've been using Mean Choice since 2014 off and on and every time I use it, it does amazing things. And actually in 2019, I am going to do one year of Mean Choice consistently as a challenge to see how much my hair could grow. So that is it for 2018 hair products. Now skin products. So if you don't know about Urban Skin RX, Listen, you are missing out. I found out about this skin brand through social media. I was just strolling and I was like, oh, let me check it out because I'm always into trying new stuff. And this right here was the best decision that I've ever made in terms of skincare. And during this time, I was having like a lot of acne. So that means that I had dark spots that I needed to get rid of. I have four products from Urban Screen RX that I use consistently my first one is their cleanser which is that even tune cleansing bar and I use that night and day and it comes with a sponge and you just put it on your skin and it helps with hyperpigmentation and it also helps to give you a glow so if you're dealing with any dark spots this is the the cleanser for you and if you just want to be out here serving black girl magic then that is the cleanser for you I think they recently changed the formula of the mask uh, to make it a mask and a scrub, but I'm still using this one. So it is their purifying pumpkin pore mask. And if you don't believe that I love this, look, I am milking this. I am just, I'm trying to use it sparingly until I can get more. But what I love about this is first, it smells amazing. It just helps to clean your pores or anything that you have. I use this two to three times a week and I leave it on for five to 10 minutes and this is amazing i have really oily skin and i know there's a misconception that if you have oily skin you shouldn't use oil in your skin but it's actually the total opposite so i use their super c brightening serum it's about 56 dollars this gives you an amazing glow like i put this on at night and in the day before i put on my sunscreen 
and I just love the glow that it gives me and you can't go wrong with this oil it isn't heavy at all a little goes a long way with this oil and last from Urban Skin RX I use their eye cream at night which is their vital eye plus C serum it just gives my eye a bit of pop uh, helps to make me look less tired another mask that is my favorite is the glam glow super mud mask i need to buy a big size with the big size again it's like 54 dollars what i like about this mask is i have super oily skin and sometimes my pores get clogged and this mask just pulls out all the oil you could actually see it when you put it on usually when i put it on this section of my face as you can see it's oily this section the section of my forehead you could see where the oil is like it's pulling the oil out and it just leaves my skin feeling super clean if you're not wearing sunscreen you while in you need to be wearing sunscreen like sunscreen helps you especially if you have hyperpigmentation if you don't wear sunscreen it just causes the dark marks that you have to get darker from the sun so wear sunscreen and you don't have to get anything fancy i don't use anything fancy i use the neutrogena healthy defense daily moisturizer with sunscreen and has spf 50. what i like about this it doesn't give my face that cakey look like that white look that you get from sun some sunscreen this sunscreen actually goes on super clear it doesn't feel like a lot is on my skin and it is really good for oily skin because it's not heavy at all and it gets the job done and it's a really high proof sunscreen like i say i have oily skin so i don't like anything that is too heavy for my skin so what i really like is the neutrogena hydro boost water gel it's a moisturizer but it's water based so it is really good in terms of moisturizing your skin without making it feel like it's clogging your skin so this is another one that i overuse it is basically done and i need to get another another one soon but this is really good if you just want a light moisturizer to take off my makeup i use the marad essential c cleanser i used to use this as a cleanser before i started using urban skin rx as my main cleanser but what i found was with this it doesn't clean my skin as much as I need it to because I have oily skin I sometimes feel like if I use this I have to use it twice make sure that I clean my skin and then if I use this I have to use like a spin brush and I stopped using the spin brush a long time ago so it gets rid of all of the makeup and it also helps to get my skin a glow before I go to bed or right after I've taken off the makeup before I use the Marad what I use is the Abilene moisturizing cleanser and it is a makeup remover and it looks like vaseline so you just take it you rub it on your hand use a towel to rub it off and what it says is that the the makeup comes off but the moisture stays on which is really true because you know if you use makeup wipes it has your skin feeling super dry but with this my skin feels super moisturized after i use it so i use this and then i use Murad to make sure that i got everything off my skin lastly i'm not really a makeup fan per se i wear it when i feel like wearing it when i wear it i don't like to look like i wear a lot of makeup i like it to be just a little you know sprucing up a little spice up my favorite foundation is from bare minerals this is their bare pro foundation performance wear liquid foundation and it actually has uh, sunscreen as well it has SPF 20 in it what I like about the bare minerals is it gives me a really natural finish and matches my complexion really good it's buildable too so I could wear it like super light or i could build it to be medium to heavy coverage that is all of my 2018 favorites this is by far the longest video i have done and yeah i'm sorry but if you make it this far you really commit it and you're the real mvp if you have any questions about the favorites that i have or you actually use any of these products that i use let me know in the comments below and that is it for this video i know finally so my natural hair queens and kings remember when you know better you do better until next time bye